What's up guys, Rally843 here bringing you part 2 of my 3 part mini scheme coming from the 4-4 split in NCAA 13. Now, in part 1, I give you B-gap pressure from both sides combining both man and zone while all keeping the same look. Now today I'm going to give you outside pressure from both sides keeping the same look with the zone, defense, and um, we can also get it from man coming off the left or the right as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. First thing we're going to check is our zone pressure off the left side. And we're going to look at the play crash three. First thing we're going to do is come out and pinch our line, crash to the left. We're going to take this middle linebacker right here and stack him over this D tackle. We are not going to change his blitz angle. We are going to leave our middle linebacker as he is, re-blitz the defensive end on the left of the screen, put the opposite DN in a spy, and then stack these linebackers as such. Now, as you can see, at the snap, we come through untouched off the left side with our defensive end, and he quickly hits the quarterback and drops him for a sack. Now, also always remember that anytime we're playing zone, we can change up our coverage behind it, but let's go ahead and take another look at this. We're going to pinch our line, crash left. We're going to take our middle linebacker and stack him over the D tackle, re-blitz the left end, well, left of screen defensive end, and put our opposite D end in the spy and then stack our linebackers. You can do it in any order, but as you can see, we still have the same front that we had yesterday when sending B-gap pressure and we get it clean off the edge. Now we're going to go ahead and check this out one more time. And basically, re-blitz the D-end, spy the opposite D-end, stack our linebackers. And the middle linebacker who's blitzing, we're going to stick right behind the D-tackle. And as you can see, I set this one up a little bit faster. I'm just showing you now, you know, this middle linebacker here, you just got to make sure you don't re-blitz him. That's very important because sometimes it won't even come through at all if you do. Now, as we come through right here, as you can see, the quarterback decides to just shrug off our defensive end right there. That's, a, that's one of the features that's actually advertised in both Madden and NCAA is a better QB avoidance. So quarterbacks will try to avoid the sack a little more this time. Um, I was running a little low on time here, but we're going to show it from the other side. All we're going to do is flip the formation. We're going to pinch our line, crash to the right this time, re-blitz that defensive end, spy the opposite end, and then we're going to stack our linebackers as such. And then the linebacker who's blitzing, we're going to put over the exact same D tackle that we have been putting it on to, to send it from the left. It will still come from the right. And once again, we don't change his blitz angle. Now, we get heavy pressure off the right end with the um, left defensive end coming off the right, of, the right of the line of scrimmage. Now, let's look at this again. We pinch our line, crash to the right, re-blitz the left defensive end who's on the right of the screen, spy the opposite DN, stack our, stack our linebackers, and then the middle linebacker who's blitzing, we're going to stack behind that defensive tackle who's on the left side of the center. And we're going to keep our middle linebacker with the same blitz angle. Now, if we wanted to, we could change up any of these zones that everybody's playing back here. It wouldn't matter. I recommend using this guy over here in the slot and watching out for any type of quick slant. Because as you know, in this year's game with the new passing icons, they don't light up until the player is looking for the ball. So as fast as this pressure is coming they're really not going to have time to get this ball off to anything other than a slant or a flat route, maybe a drag. We'll look at this one more time. We're going to pinch our line, crash right, re-blitz the end, stack our linebackers, stack the middle linebacker over the D-tackle on the left of the screen. As you can see, this blitz takes about six or seven seconds to set up. And when your opponent's coming from the play call screen, if you start immediately, you should have it set up before he even begins to start to make his reads. Now, as you can see, I just threw this guy in a flat and our linebacker on this side in a purple just to go ahead and do it, just to show you, you know, it's okay to switch things up. That's the best way to go about playing zone defense is to keep your opponent guessing and keep him on his toes.
Now, another thing you have to remember when you're running this defense is that you can really be really flexible with this as far as switching between this and the B-gap that I showed you yesterday. Because if you look at the front right here, once again, I'm just showing you a different coverage right here that we can run with this same blitz. But anyway, uh, there we go with that QB avoidance again. But no, as I was saying, you can be really flexible as far as sending a B gap or C gap heat and mixing it up with max coverage, which I'm going to show you in part three of this mini scheme. And you also have man and zone looks from both form from both types of blitzes. Right now, we're going to go ahead and get into the man version of this blitz, which is going to be run out of cover one, and we can get the heat off the left or the right side by basically doing the exact same setup just by tweaking one little thing. We're still getting the same front. And first I'm going to show you how to send this blitz off the left side. Now what we're going to do is select cover one. We're going to pinch our line, crash left. We're going to spy the, the right side defensive end and re-blitz the left of screen defensive end. Reblitz the middle linebacker who was in the yellow zone, and then we're going to stack our two linebackers as so. Now, I, th I would recommend calling press coverage on this. You can align whoever you want, and I would just, just roll over the middle with the safety. And as you can see, it still comes through untouched off the left side. Not a problem. Um, and now, if we wanted to send it from a right, the the issue with sending it from the right that I find, the setup's going to be the same, first of all. We're just going to crash the line left, re-blitz the right of screen DE. I, I meant crash the line right, re-blitz the D-end on the right side of the screen, and then re-blitz the middle linebacker. But you're going to need to stack him over the other D-tackle. The issue with this is if your opponent is smart and he's really paying attention, he's going to realize that he's stacked over a different person. So I wouldn't recommend running this too often because eventually he'll catch on to that. Not to mention, in my opinion, I feel zone is better. You could still stack him over the same over the same guy that we've been stacking him on, just like I'm showing now. But the thing is, it's not as consistent. It will still come in most of the time. But when you do do this, always remember you cannot spy the opposite D end. Leave him on his leave him rushing. It will come in from time to time, but the one issue is I, I'd say it probably comes in about 80% of the time, but other times it will get completely br picked up, and then it's up to you, you know, to cover all their receivers and stop them from hurting you over the top as you're only playing a cover one, which is still better than, you know, being in cover zero or anything like that. I'm just showing you a couple more times here. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about part three that we're going to have coming out tomorrow, which is going to be run defense, max coverage, and then a couple of exotic looks that have a different front to them. But it's a good little switch up and a good little thing to just throw in there, you know, every once in a while. Once again, this is Rally843. If you have any questions, contact me on Twitter at Rally843 or leave a comment below. I appreciate y'all watching my videos and have a good one, man.